Did you know that your future self isn't that awesome? I know. All of a sudden, you're very offended. <laughs> and I don't blame you. If I turned on a video and that's what the person told me, I would be offended too. I'm not saying you're not awesome. I'm saying your future self isn't nearly as great as you think she is. And what I mean by that is we view our future self as a completely different person than our current self. And so we assume that our future self will be able to uh, do things quicker, have more energy, have more money, have more time. This is why people don't start saving for retirement as early as what they could. Because they think, well, in the future, I'll have more money, I won't need to. Or this is why people put off exercising. Well, tomorrow, I'll have more energy and I'll go to the gym. Or why they look at their to-do list and they're like, oh, I'm not going to do that one. That one's hard. But tomorrow or next week, I'll be way better prepared to be able to handle that. So what you want to be able to do is connect your current self with your future self so that you're in a place that uh, you don't hamstring yourself because you think your future self has all these skills and attributes that they have not yet learned and, and gotten. It doesn't mean you won't be awesome tomorrow or in the future, because you will, because you're going to work on certain things to get yourself there, but you're not, you're setting yourself up for failure thinking you'll be perfect tomorrow and in the future. So I invite you to start trying to connect with your future self a little bit, or at least remember this video so that you can start to think, wait a minute, if I push that off until tomorrow, what's going to be different tomorrow that's not there today? If you're intrigued about the ideas of how to connect with your future self, then read the post that accompanies this video. There's a lot of really uh, unique ideas. Uh, for those of you who are in the place where you're like, this conversation that we're having right now is just enough. I'll never forget that you just told me I'm not as cool as I thought I'll be in, you know, tomorrow. Uh, that's great too. So I'm Lisa Curly Malice, and I love working with business owners to help them figure out how to work less but still achieve more. If that concept intrigues you, if you'd like more money but not work more, if you'd like more time for your family but not actually ha you know, be bankrupt because you're trying to do that, then please jump on uh, the link below, come on over, apply for a complimentary discovery conversation, and we can talk about what some specific strategies are for you.